Michael, get up and get ready for school. No, I don't want to go, no. Please, mama, don't make me go. Hey, everybody. It's me, Mrs. Fidelic, your friendly neighborhood art teacher, here to talk to you about art supplies. What do you need this year in your art supply box? Let's go through these things. Step one, get a shoebox if you don't already have a shoebox or any other sort of container that will hold all of your art supplies. One of the most important things you need in your art box when you come to high school, to every art class, are pencils and white vinyl erasers. The white vinyl erasers are the best eraser to have. The pink ones are better for math. These ones are better for art. You just need some regular pencils for drawing. Let's talk about sketchbooks next. Everybody wonders if they have the right sketchbook. You have the right sketchbook if your sketchbook has white drawing paper. It doesn't matter if the cover is a hard cover, whether it's a big sketchbook or a smaller sketchbook. It just matters that the paper is white drawing paper and definitely not a scrapbook. This is a scrapbook. Notice that the pages are yellow. This stuff is really hard to use because it doesn't erase well. The pages actually disintegrate with the eraser. Do not buy a scrapbook. It's really hard to get rid of the evidence in a scrapbook. See how the yellow page does not erase very well. It's not good for when you make mistakes when you're actually drawing your sketches that get marked every single month. So please do not buy a scrapbook. As a side note, coil bound sketchbooks are the best because the pages don't easily fall out. So if you haven't already gotten a sketchbook, a coil bound sketchbook is the best. If you don't have a coil bound sketchbook, that's okay. Just bring what you have as long as it has white paper. These are fancier drawing pencils. If you have them, great, bring them. If you don't have them, please do not worry. If you desire some later, go and get some, but they are not necessary to start art class or drawing. A regular HB pencil is all you need. In other drawing tools, you're going to want to get yourself a fine tip Sharpie marker or other brand, it doesn't have to be Sharpie, as long as it's fine tip. We use these for different drawing assignments. Some of them have dual ends, which means one is super ultra fine tip, which is kind of nice to have, and the other end is simply fine tip. If you just have the one like this, that's fine. And if you ended up getting a bigger one, we'll make do and you'll use that too. Things are gonna get sticky in here sometimes. You will need a couple of these glue sticks. Doesn't have to be this brand, any glue stick, large or small. Have a couple in your art box at all times. And then a bottle of white Elmer school glue. Um, doesn't have to be Elmer's, but white school glue, preferably. Now, I don't know anybody that can freehand a perfectly straight line. If you say you can, all y'all are lying. You need a ruler in your art box. A 12 inch ruler will suffice. It doesn't have to be metal. It can be plastic. It can be vinyl. It can be metal, whatever. Just bring a ruler, please. Do you have some markers? Crayola work great. Any colored markers will do. Make sure that you have a set of markers of your own. Pencil crayons. These puppies will come in handy. Make sure that you have pencil crayons, you sharpen them, and your name is on every single one. Do you have a set of these? Bring a pair of big kid scissors to high school. It's not elementary school anymore. Let's bring in the big guns. You'll also notice that on your supply list, uh, it does say sandpaper. Now, there's a reason for that. What I give you when you get to my art class is a couple of blending stomps. And these are used for uh, really enhancing your shading. And the way that they are cleaned is using sandpaper. So I know that you can buy these at Michael's and on Amazon, and they come with a handy little handle so that you can actually clean them off. Now, since we don't always have access to these in a small town, you can also go to the local hardware store and buy yourself some sandpaper, fine grain, which means it feels smooth, not rough, or it will wreck the blending stomp. So you buy one sheet and you can cut it into little strips or squares and staple it and stick it in your art box. And then you can use that for cleaning your blending stomp. So I will give you a blending stomp, but you will have to bring your own sandpaper. Double check that you have everything on the list and that you have your name on everything because what ends up on the floor is free for the grabbing for anyone else that finds it if it doesn't have a name. 